OpenAI, ChatGPT, everything is going to change. Are you aware? Now guys, you know I don't normally make videos about non-crypto related topics, but the launch of ChatGPT and AI is a watershed moment in human history. Certainly something worth making a video about. In this video, I'm going to explain my journey into AI and what I managed to do and achieve in a single day. Then we're going to cover some real life use cases of how AI and ChatGPT can actually do work that people are currently getting paid to do and how we can streamline and optimize this process. After that, we're going to have a general discussion. And by the end of this video, you'll know what all the fuss is and what this craze that is taking the internet by storm is all about. And you'll have a base layer, a little bit of knowledge about what's going on in this amazing space. Good morning, everybody. So let's get straight into it. On the 30th of November, a guy called Sam Altman, that's a name that you're going to hear often. Sam Altman is the CEO of a company called OpenAI. And he put out a simple tweet, which said, today we launched ChatGPT. Try talking to it here, and he posted a link. Five days later, over 1 million subscribers. Now, just to put that into perspective, Facebook took years to cross the 1 million mark. Netflix took months. The, the giants have never achieved a growth like this. To the best of my knowledge, this is the most viral anything has ever gone on the internet. It is a big deal. It is a, a life changer. It is going to change the way we think, the way we work, and the way we interact with artificial intelligence. Let's talk about what I did in a single day with AI. So first of all, I said, write me an article. I was absolutely blown away. And I'm going to give you a demonstration of this, of how ChatGPT wrote this most amazing article. Then I took it a step further. I said, write an article on Richard D'Souza. I gave it some information. It wrote the most amazing article. Then I said, hang on a second. And using some other AI tools called pictree.ai, I got it to create a video, narrate the video, put the images in, and um, all done with the article that was created by ChatGPT. Now, the point I'm trying to make with this is it normally takes me hours to write an article. It takes me a long time to create these videos. This was all done within a couple of seconds or minutes at the most. It made really good articles and videos within minutes. I then took things a step further. Some of the other things that I do on my daily basis is I write code. So I took some very basic code and I asked ChatGPT to optimize this code. It optimized the code. I said, okay, take it a step further. Make the changes to the optimization. It made the changes. Then I said, hang on a second, why am I even writing the code? I asked ChatGPT to write the code for me. And it did. Let me give you a quick example of what I'm talking about. So here, let's just go and we'll put in this and you'll see ChatGPT doing this code. Now, sure, this is basic code, but this program can do very advanced things. Now, if you ask it to write code, it'll take some time to write that code but then if you ask it for more advanced code it will advance it enhance it and if you give it the entire scope of your project it'll look at the project and start to optimize suggest and write things that are amazing for that project so here we can see ChatGPT writing a connection string for a mysql database it writes it you can improve it something else that i did is i decided okay i've got an article got a video, I've had code written, I've asked some questions. I said, I would like a painting for my office. So I went into Dali and I started to create some general art. So what about something like this? Picture of a Bitcoin with a chart in the background. Or if you wanted a beach scene, what about something like this? Do you see that it could take someone hours to paint something like this? And granted, it's not, it doesn't have the same feel, but we're getting there. You can create art for your office. You can print this out and you can do that in a matter of seconds. So just to recap, what I did in a single day, I 
got AI to write me an article, to make me a video, to narrate and put the visuals in that video, to write code, to improve code, and to put a painting in my office. But let's go on to some real life examples of how AI could actually uh, speed up productivity. Looking at the Altcoin Trader website, if we were to go to news, we know that we've got a blog, right? Now we pay someone to write a blog. And writing a blog is no easy task. It takes hours, sometimes days, because you have to research the topic. Once you've researched the topic, you have to actually go and write the article. So let's take this article here. Top five reasons to buy silver. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this. Let's go in and get an article and let's put it into test. Write an on five reasons to buy silver. Now bear in mind that someone that writes a blog would have to spend a lot of hours doing this. And here we have a tool that can put this article out in a matter of seconds. As we can see, silver is a precious metal that has been valued for its beauty and valued for thousands of years. Blah, blah, blah. But the point I'm trying to make is right now, while I'm talking to you, AI is writing me an amazing article on five reasons to buy silver. So what does that mean for the person that writes blogs? What does that mean for people that write copyright? What does that mean for journalists? Does it mean that they are now defunct? Because I, as a layperson, could put out articles that are good at a hundred times the speed that they could do it. Well, if I was a journalist, if I was a blog writer, if I was someone in this field, I would certainly be getting involved with this tool to make sure that I was not made redundant, that I would use this tool to assist me in my productivity. But what does that mean for a company owner that's paying someone to actually write this blog? Does that mean that they need to go over to AI and get AI to do that, essentially replacing that person? These are ethical questions that we're going to be grappling with in the very near future. AI is no longer a futuristic concept. It is happening now. What about if you're an artist and you paint sort of, you know, decorative paintings and someone goes into AI like this and starts pumping them out and printing them on canvas? Does that mean that your job is under threat? Does that mean that you transition to the new way and lose that talent of painting? I don't know. Just questions that I'm posing. Is AI dangerous? Well, ChatGBT has been disconnected from the internet. Now that's something that's interesting. It was disconnected from the internet in 2021. So if you had to just rephrase that article and you had to say five reasons to buy silver in 2023, now remember, it doesn't have knowledge of 2023 because it's been disconnected from the internet. So let's just see how it copes with that. It'll probably tell us, oh, I don't know about 2023. But the fact that it's been disconnected to the internet might raise some questions. Why has it been disconnected? I'm sorry, but as an AI model, my knowledge is based on information up and available till 2021. Okay, but it will still go and create that article, even with the knowledge it has. So Elon Musk has warned us many times about AI and how it has to be governed and how it has to be looked after. But we are hungry for this technology. And that is expressed by the fact that over a million users within five days, and that number just continues to grow. People are using this AI for all types of things. If you just look on the internet, they're writing code, they're using code to be hacked, they, they're using this AI to do really bad things. And certainly it's got policies in place that stop it from giving information on how to create possibly bombs or how to break into houses and that. But with some clever manipulation and asking the questions in multiple ways, you can get this information. I don't think that governments are going to be able to control this because as we know, governments move slowly and this technology is not coming. It's already here. Millions of people using it on a daily basis. Very often the site can't cope with the amount of traffic and it's been scaled. A business like OpenAI uh, Open has now got a valuation within the last couple of weeks of over 29 billion US dollars. This is an in industry that is absolutely exploding. As I said, I've never seen anything go as viral as this. 
and I've never seen anything as useful as this with so little effort. Guys, if you found value in this video, if you like the fact that I keep you abreast with technology and with like things that really matter, I'd ask you to hit the like button. Also subscribe because a lot more is coming, a lot more exciting content. That's it from me. I will see you very soon. I'm out.